Word on the Street, Inspiring Our Communities Through Art. Today we will learn how street artists convey messages in their work and create our own positive message to share in our community. Street art is art created on surfaces in public places. Street art is usually created as a way to convey a message to a large group of people. Jason Naylor's slogan is, Creatively positive times, positively creative. Jason's work regularly contains messages of love and kindness. His mission is to spread color and positivity across the globe. Jason's brightly colored designs and cheerful words reflect his quest for joy and his love of love. How do you think his work helps to spread positivity? Andrea, also known as Queen Andrea, is a New York City-based artist. The excitement, diversity, and energy of city life is where Andrea finds her inspiration. Her work often includes a bold use of color and intricate abstract designs. What exciting colors or energetic shapes do you see in her work? Shepard Ferry first became interested in art as a young man when he started to use his drawings on t-shirts and skateboards. Ferry uses images as symbols to represent ideas and enhance his message. Here you can see how he uses the dove as a symbol of peace. What other symbolic images do you see in his work? Laquena Masiver's murals serve as vibrant symbols of positivity and affirmation. Her work is a form of self-expression. She uses words both as images and as messages. Making art is her way of sharing her thoughts with the world. What positive and uplifting messages do you want to share with the world? George Rose is a Melbourne-based artist who spends most of her time climbing up ladders and painting murals. Her work often uses bright colors and includes graphic typography to spread her messages. Rose carefully crafts her concepts and creates layers of meaning within her work. What do you think about Rose's use of text within her art? Now that we have seen how these street artists can convey messages in their work through the use of images and words, let's start to think about what positive message do you want to share? What are some positive words, phrases, or quotes that you can use in your message? You can choose to use just one word, a whole sentence, or even write a poem. It is up to you to decide what you want to say. Also, think about what images, symbols, shapes, and colors you want to add to your message. Once you know what you want to say, you need to think about how you're going to say it. Since we won't be able to paint large murals on buildings, we need to think of some alternatives. So how can you share your message with the community? One way is to use chalk to draw and write your message onto your driveway, sidewalk, or fence. Be sure to ask your parents for permission first. Another way to share your message is to create a poster or a sign. You can draw or paint on a piece of paper or even cardboard. Then you can choose to display your message outside your home, on your window, by the mailbox, or even on the front door so that your neighbors can see it when they're walking by. You can also create messages in nature by using found materials such as sticks, rocks, pine cones, or flowers. You could also paint your message on a rock or a stone and leave it outside for others to see. Some other ideas include using cups in a fence, creating a flag or a banner, or even writing your message in a card to give to someone in your family. The goal of this project is to create a positive message and to share it with others. What you make is up to you. So what are some ways you can share your message? Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about street art today and seeing all the different ways some street artists use images and words to convey messages in their work. I look forward to seeing what positive messages you have to share. Let's use art to bring some joy back into our communities.